Another very foundational part of economics is an understanding of what we produce things out of. When we produce goods, services as well, but we concentrate more on goods. When we produce goods or services, we have to make them out of something. We call these things the factors of production, or FOP for short, because we'll say it about a million times. The four factors of production are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Let's go over each one quickly, just to understand what each one is. You'll find in economics that we use words a bit fluidly. You probably came into class or started watching this video thinking land, well, it's that, you know, dirt stuff outside. Well, it's that too, but in economics, we actually mean it to mean any natural resource. So anything that, that is the land or comes from the land. Now, we also include in this, we include the oceans and other pieces of water, um, the atmosphere, basically anything on Earth, and I suppose outside of Earth, if we start mining, you know, Pluto or something like that. Anyway, anything that is mined, anything that is farmed, anything that is, is fished, any of those things, we would say, well, that is land. So a fisherman going out, um, you know, catching a thousand tuna fish, well, we would call that uh, the tuna fish themselves a land. The fishermen, though, that would be something else. Their work, the fishermen's work, is of course going to be labor. So this is one of the two that uh, involve humans. So labor is when the actual production of the good or service occurs. A fish swimming around in the ocean is not an economic good. You can't sell it. You can't sell it until it's been caught and then presented at a store or something like that. So labor produces goods and services. It could be fish, it could be uh, teaching, it could be clothes, it could be cars, it could be the doctor. And you might think, well, wait a minute, we don't normally think of a doctor as a, as a laborer. We normally think of a doctor as a professional. That's true and that's fine, but for our intents and purposes, a doctor is producing a service. They are doing things to make you healthy, prescribing medicine, whatever it might be. So, labor can be skilled or non-skilled. Another name for this is what we call human capital. That becomes a useful um, term, especially when we couple it with what we call physical capital that we'll talk about here in a moment. So we can call it human capital, uh, basically as a synonym, and the productivity of labor, meaning how much is produced by a single laborer, is gonna be dependent on really all of the other three, but especially physical capital and entrepreneurship. We'll see more about that in a moment. Capital, this is one that a lot of people struggle with in economics because they think of it as money. If you're talking about finance or lending or something like that, then yeah, capital means a sum of money. But we don't use it that way in economics at all, so you just have to get rid of that from your brain. How we use it is that it's gonna be any machinery, technology, most machines these days are pretty technical, so it could be something like a shovel, or it could be something much more complex like an iPhone, Anyway, if it's being used to help produce, if I'm calling somebody up to order more shovels, well, the iPhone and the shovels are both capital. Um, infrastructure refers to big, large um, things like highways and ports, uh, the telephone system, the internet, um, anything like that that's on a much bigger scale that still fits into one of these two categories. It's, you know, it's not land, it's, it's not labor, it's something else, so we kind of lump it in here with capital. Another way to think about capital is it is an economic product. Shovels are produced, they are a good or a service. Well, they're good. iPhones, they're a good. So it's a product that somebody else produced that you're going to use to produce more things or different things. The last factor of production is probably the most important one, um, and that's what's called entrepreneurship. Notice that these two are both humans and these two are not humans. Not until we start making, you know, robots that become human or something like that. Anyway, entrepreneurship, the job of entrepreneurship is to organize the other three to produce a certain good or a service. Now, there's other things that we might characterize as entrepreneurship. Yeah, they tend to be the people who own the company. Sure, fine, but that's not really how we mean it here. They tend to make the lion's share of the profit. Okay, fine, but it doesn't really matter. 
Um, here, all that matters is that they are administrating the production. They're saying, what are we going to produce? How much of it are we going to produce? Where are we going to ship it? Uh, what's it going to look like? All those little decisions in organizing these other three. So coming back to labor, again, the, the productivity of a single worker depends on, does the boss have them doing the right thing? I mean, I'm an economics teacher, but you could put a physics book into my hand and I, I guess I could teach physics, but it really, really wouldn't be the best use of my skills. So that would be a mistake. Even if I was working hard and doing my best, that would be an entrepreneurial uh, mistake and I wouldn't, be, be, I wouldn't be being used to the best of my capability. I, I could use a shovel to pound in nails on a house, but it's probably not the best use of that physical capital either. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below.